I don't like to uh, urge debate or discussion, and I'm going to ask for further presentations. I would ask if we could avoid repetition. Asking again for presentations from the public. Calling a second time. Presentations. This where I'm sure you. Just, just to note, my family, we've uh, we've been in business here for for a hundred years ourselves. We feel for Mr. Bannister and what he's going through. There's just some some I, I guess some mixed messages. Mr. Realtor, whatever your name was, states that Mark's on two acres now and his new site is three acres. And yet Mr. Bannister is stating that he's, he's you know, we have us, that he's going to be able to uh, have two acres that he would like to hold back for future development. Like, like with, the, with the conflict of the acreage, I just don't want, I don't want it to, to slip under the radar, and I'm not saying that it would intentionally slip under the radar. I just like to see it done once properly, because I, you know, whether it's my grandson or whoever, will have to, will have to redo that road. And if it's like you wouldn't believe it, but it's not. So I still advocate. If we look at the plans, I don't know how he's going to get it on the carrier into his car lot. They're about 65 or 70 feet long. I know. Let's do it right once. Calling a third and final time for presentations from the public. Before I close, I give counsel to ask questions of any of the presenters. Councillor Ed Sand. Um, just trying to think now what the question was. Um, oh, in relation to the lighting, that I, I understand that the staff have said they're fine with not putting in lighting on the 11th Street frontage because of lighting from the dealership. I'm just curious as to, A, um, is that lighting going to be the same, same roughly the same intensity that we get from street lighting, higher intensity? I'm just wondering in terms of you know, the amount of light coming off the site. And then not to say that I expect anything to happen to the, the dealership, assuming it, it goes forward. Um, just that would, should this site ever not be a car dealership and then be repurposed in the future, would the wiring already be in the ground that we need to ever to put in the lighting? It makes sense that even if we don't put in the actual poles and lights, that the infrastructure in the ground is there to accommodate that? I'm just curious in relation to uh, staff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, I, I'd like questions for the presenters. I'm certain we have that opportunity later. But I do believe the issue of lighting is addressed in the motion. Yeah, I, I, that's fine. Councillor Candle. Mine is for staff. Okay, Councillor Candle. Mine is actually for Mark. In relation to uh, what Mr. Roof said, how much property on the far right side be developed on two acres, and then you're developing. Three acres on the other side. Is that a question for Mark? Yeah. 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 I wasn't watching. Any other uh, questions for the presenters from council? Any further presentations from the public? Uh, Councilor Edson. Right, one question for Mark then. Um, how often does a car carrier come to the, the, the current site and how likely? For Mr. Fanschmidt's concerns about larger trucks, how often would there would be expected to be one delivering or going away? Yeah, I mean, there's there's no regular uh, set time. We might see uh, we might see two today, and we not see one for two weeks. I mean, they, they come at all various times. Upping up the parcels during the night for parts that they need the next morning. Um, oh, the voluntary police told me that. That's what's happening. So every time that happens, we break up. Well, that's fine. That's just us. And these are business people. There's two kinds of people that live here. You realize? There's business people, and there's just people. People just pay the taxes. And the business people make more money. Thank you. <laughs> Any further presentations? I declare this hearing for. Development permit application number four, four closed. Council. <clears throat> Councilor Campbell. 
fully in support of the project. Uh, I have no doubt that uh, looking at the description of what's um, going to happen with the land, the design of the building is going to be a beautiful building. And uh, I also really respect the dealership and the fact that there are 35 families that are represented here tonight. And it's pretty obvious there's pretty good morale for the employees to come out and, and support like this. However, I have one of staff, and that is uh, the waiving. This is how the motion makes, right? To waive the city water main on the entire 40th Street. Can somebody answer or that? Or to provide a cash contribution. Or, yes. Yeah, that's the uh, the motion in bold again. Right. It has, has I appreciate your attention once again, hope that we can make uh, progress in the interests of children in this community. And uh, the resolution is as 